Hey there, YouTuber. Uh, you are E Magnets. Hey, thanks for this video on the circuit board. I think I might have well, the idea because I see is the nine resistors. Um, I was looking at this board playing through it, and from what I can tell, um, on the front side, this whole entire solid piece of copper that's green here, that might be your, you know, your drain or source side, and the small line with all eight resistors, those all go to your gate, that ninth resistor that you have on here, that you just telling me about. I believe that draws your gate back to ground once power or the you know the source or signal has been diminished or deleted. Let's say a switch turns the source on, then it turns your FETs off. Turn the switch off, then your FETs turn off. Um, and the resistors are for voltages. Uh, if it takes 12 volts, let's say to turn your FETs on, and let's say you want to use a 24 volt system, then maybe I use a higher resistant resistance value to keep the voltage low for the FETs. Um, let's see here, see if there's anything else. I've noticed here you're probably covering up the uh, manufacturing number, I guess. It, if I knew that, I'd probably be able to look it up and see if I could find a schematic on it. But, by just looking at it, I think I might have been able to see what it is. Um, I've been trying to build my own, because this here's an optocoupler, as you can tell. And it dries one fat. Well, you've got eight FETs. Well, I think this could probably do the exact same thing. Except for, you know, have 1K, and even though this has 2.2K for this, I can have this power eight of them. Or I can have eight of these in each one, power each gate for each MOSFET. That's a drain, and that's the source down here. So, drain, source, gate. The diode, you can have diodes on there, if you're running a motor and you turn the motor off, keep spinning, that keep your MOSFET from getting burned up or back feed of the voltage. Um, here's what I drew up. Um, let me see if I can supersize this. I hope you can see that. Because uh, I can barely see it through the thing, but I think I can. Alright, here's all eight of the, your MOSFETs. Gate drain source. Gate, each one has its own 2.2K resistor. Here's your signal in. That could be one large, uh, one of those um, optocouplers could be switched. That keeps your uh, your main high voltage away from the back side and off, also off of your uh, optocoupler if that's the case. Or you can just have a transistor also in there that could be switched with a resistor. Uh, this is your positive end, negative end, and here's where your load would go. Is between here, between your uh, positive end, which would be your your drain and your load is the bottom side of the your load alright that's negative that all connects to your source the positive side all connects to your drain which is according to the same schematic here see positive load see there's your positive so that can be all connected together through this and this here's 12 volt control voltage which can be the same way you, know, you can have a relay or another transistor that could be switched on let's say for your charge controller which I would like to use this as my relay once it turns my voltage on on this side here turns my uh, optocoupler on which would then in turn turn this whole part of the circuit on then once this optocoupler turns off this entire circuit is shut off so uh, yeah I'm glad you uh, showed the video of that of how that circuit board's made maybe I myself I mean it's a double sided board so I really wouldn't see how hard it would be to build another double sided board just like it. I've got some uh, copper plate I might try, some copper clad board. Um, thanks for the uh, your video. E-Magnets is your name. And I will post this video and you tell me what you think. Thank you.